After four. One, One two, 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 three, four. Bum, 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 bum. The Land of Our Fathers began um, quite a few years ago now, actually, uh, at Theatre 503, which is in Battersea in South West London. It was quite extraordinary, actually, how, how well it was received. Um, the reviews were across the board just utterly brilliant, which was really nice. Um, and we just had full houses every single performance. We then managed to get the play in at Trafalgar Studios on the West End last year, so pretty much a year after we did it at 5.03. So Mostyn's the youngest of the group. Um, when the play opens is his first day down the mine and throughout the play we kind of start to discover that he's down the mine for different reasons to what you initially think. Bomber is on the verge of retirement. He's been working down the pits for, must be four, more than 40 years. So Bomber is a, an old stager and he knows the ropes very well down the pit. I think the guys look up to him a bit. And I really like the part of Bomber and there's some lovely, there are lovely scenes for, for every character in the play. What's really interesting about returning to the play um, after last year is last year I formed some ideas that I, that I thought you know, were solid and I was really happy with. And then injecting new life into it by bringing new actors brings totally different decisions. Oh, the atmosphere is great. We all rag each other all the time, which I think is necessary in a play of this uh, ilk and of this depth. We need, to, we need to have a few relaxing moments. The play is set at a certain period, so there's a lot of music that's already delineated with sort of pop songs of the time. But amongst that is also a sort of musical soundscape, as well as a sort of, you know, music composed. I mean, the play is about community and, and family and work and, and what binds us together. So we do have a lot of singing in the show. We have, which was sort of stipulated by the writer, Chris, and this is called Chodiat, forgive me if I say that wrongly, and Calon Lan, which are both traditional anthems sung in Welsh. It, it's very important, they're very emotive and they're very beautiful and they're very major keyed for want of another way of putting it. And they're, they, they, you know, paint a very vivid picture. The, the, the show opens with, the, with the, our five actors singing. There's so many reasons I love this play. I think the characters are just so brilliantly written. It feels, it does feel like an old-fashioned play. Um, we've talked about, we've, there's been references to sort of Arthur Miller and, and him being quite a strong influence on Chris, the writer. And I, I think really it's just these characters, you can't help but fall in love with at least one of them. Um, and you become so invested in, in their journey, trapped down this mine. Oh, 